Hey, what's up guys? So these bricks are finally done. You know what, they finished powder coating and they look great. But now I have to rebuild them with all new uh, seals and put them back on the car. But I'm telling you what, my wife has an X5 and I'm telling you I was gonna do those brakes but not after these ones. You know, doing Brembo brakes are a lot easier because all they got is four big pistons, uh, four big calipers. This one, I had to do 12 pieces and it's a two-stage powder coat. So I have to do the base coat, then the top coat, and then a clear coat. Trust me, I'm not doing that again. Not even for my own car, so forget it. But you know what, they look good, so I'm gonna grab all the pieces uh, and rebuild them and throw them on the car. So uh, let's go do this. All right, so what I have here um, is the ring for the, the rear piston. The one for the front is here. I went ahead and ordered these from ECS Tuning. You know what? Look, that's the original BMW part, and it's a lot cheaper buying it from them than buying it from BMW. Uh, go figure that one. So what I have here is a front piston then I got uh, the ring So I have the ring it comes with the ring and it also comes uh, With the, the boot for the piston but What you have to do is go ahead and oil everything up first to make sure everything just slide in nicely I have some brake fluid and a little cap. I just go ahead and oil the ring up this way whoop, This way everything slips in nice and easy and I'm gonna do the same thing to the, the edge here so it slides on nicely. And inside the piston for when I put the, the piston um, the piston in. You also make sure to go ahead and clean the piston up really good because you don't want any debris or anything on the piston because remember the piston is gonna be in here and you want it to move around nice and freely. You don't want to have any scoring on the inside because that will ruin your piston. And it doesn't make sense to go through all this and then ruin your piston. So we got the ring. Um, let's see if I can show you guys here. Um, as you can, there's a ring on the inside of here where you can, um, where this goes in. I'm gonna go ahead and slip it in. It looks much bigger, but it actually fits. Almost in, make sure it's in uh, nice and straight and not twisted, because if it's in twisted, guess what? Shit's not gonna work properly. So there you go, the, the ring is in. Let's see, there's the ring, it's in now. And now, let me put some more oil in here. Make sure everything's nice and oiled up. Everybody like it slippery. Ha! Get some more oil, brake fluid I should say. And now for the piston. Make sure it's nice and clean, the ring is nice and clean. The base, even the inside, just clean it up nicely. So I put some oil on it, nice and slippery. Take your time. Put it in. Don't force it in. And what I have here, you can use a C clamp if you want, but I have one of these. Made to push piston back, so. Make it smaller. And then you take your time and you push it back. Like I said it has to be going. It has to go in straight, or it's not gonna go in. Let's try this again. Ah, so guess what? You have to take it out. What you do? Grab your ear hose. Put in here and it will just pop right out. Let's try this again. I told you when I did the other side, it went in nice and easy. And that's pretty much it. I'm going a little more, but I have to put this on first. And that's a little bit difficult too. So I tried to put some oil around the outside ring. So she slides on easy. So you have, let's see, you have the this ring and the inner ring. So the inner ring is gonna go in on this ring on the piston and the outer ring is gonna go over here on the caliper. So you just put it on. 
straight. Make sure the ring goes over. Once it's on like that, just use your finger, push it down in there. Because if you see when you lift it up, you can see that the ring it's in there. All right, so just look at it, make sure it's uh, even all the way around. If you look at the edge, it's even all the way around. Now comes the hard part, putting it on here. So what I use is a flat screwdriver, but one that's not uh, sharp. It's a regular flat screwdriver. And then I just push the back in through the back of the piston here. Because the back is harder to go in, so do the back first. Let me push this in all the way now. So once you push the back on, it stays on there, but it's never that easy. When you look all the way around the edge here, when you look all the way around the edge here, it should be nice and even all the way around the edge. And that's when you, and you look at the seal here, and you can see, that's when you'll see if it's all on there. And this one, when you buy the, the kit, the brake kit, the brake pad, they also give you the new seals with it to go in, uh, where is it? In these holes. One here, one here. Put a little grease on it so it goes on easier. So we'll grab the long one. Use the same screwdriver, put it back in there, and just push it in. One's in, make sure it, oh, yeah, that's the short one. Make sure it comes out on the inside, right there. Comes out, it's not fully out yet, so let's push it in. And now it's fully out, you do the same thing with the other one on the short side. There you go, and that one's in too. And that's it for this caliper. Now we're gonna do the back one. Back one's a little bit more painful. <sighs> so what I did, I made sure I cleaned out uh, hair from all the sand, from when it was sandblasted or whatever was baked. Make sure you blow it out because if you don't and you get sand in there, you're just gonna, trust me, you're gonna be pulling your hair right after you go through all that trouble. Okay, so now that's nice and clean. We're gonna go ahead and rebuild this. Same thing for this one. Get some more brake fluid. Pour some in there. You know what? Like I said, brake fluid is not good for when it's paint, but this is powder coating, but you still wanna clean it off. And the same thing with the piston, make sure it's nice and clean. So I clean them all up, now I'm just gonna lube them up so they slide in. The other one gave a little bit of trouble, but as you can see, it went in. And the right. Same thing with this one, the two. I mean, these, the back ones uh, on the old caliper weren't good. The front ones are pretty good, but you know what? You're gonna go through all this trouble to take them apart. Just spend a few extra bucks and put the new part on. This way they're like brand new. It's not in there straight. You're gonna have issues. Okay, that's it. Grab my piston. Put some more on it. And it's the same thing. Take your time. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go fight with this shit and come back. Well, you know what? I think the parts is a bit shy because the moment I turn off the camera, this thing just slipped right in. I guess it didn't want to be done in camera, but... So, the front's done. The back's done. Uh, there you go. Everything is on. 
So now we're gonna go put them on the car, but for the front, I'm also replacing the rotors and pads. So that's why I had the new boots and everything, because when you buy the, we have, we, I got some uh, StopTech uh, pads for this. And when you buy the pad, the kit comes with everything in it. It comes with even the, the spring clips, which I didn't even know it comes with these things. It comes with those uh, rubber bushing and the cover, the dust boot, for when you put on the, um, put in the two slider pins. So this thing came with everything, front and back, so that's great. I'm not doing the back kit, just the front. So what I have here, hold on there. What I have here, is some Zimmerman rotors. So I got these from ECS Tuning too. I mean, these guys carry everything. And trust me, their customer service is great. And no, they don't sponsor me in any way, but you know what, when you find something good, if you can let other people know, let other people know. So, here you go. I think they're actually cheaper than the ones from BMW, way cheaper from the ones from BMW. Uh, so these, I'm gonna install these on the front. The back is good for now. Next year we'll do um, brand new ones on the back. All right, so we've got the rotor here. Try and keep it as clean as possible. Now we just line up these uh, one, one, two, three holes. What the three, the three little thing there, three little nubs there. So one there, there. And put your screw back in because this shit is gonna give you a headache if you don't. One step down, now we got the bracket, and there are two bolts. That will be a number 18. Those are tight. Now we've we'll got the piston. Sorry, not the piston, the caliper. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of anti-seize on the end of the brake pad. You don't need to, but you know what? Since I got it off, might as well. This way shit's gonna move around freely. Last thing I wanna do is put it back together and you hear the screaming like, oh man, why the hell didn't I do it when I have it off? So this one goes back here. Then a little bit on the other one. Slip that one in there. And let me clean off some of this anti-seize. Now we're gonna put this on. Just like that. And stay. I have the two slider pins here, nice and clean. All right, I'm gonna use some uh, 3M silicone paste because you need these things to move around. When I took them off, they were a little bit dirty and uh, they didn't come out easily at all. I had to fight them out. So you know the brake wasn't uh, working as good as it should. Grease them up nicely and if you can, grab some on your finger and put it in on the plastic piece that we just installed. And you push it in and move it around. So the long one goes at the bottom, the short one goes at the top. And, you know, and then you should just uh, later on take it off and give your brake, just take them over again after driving around maybe a month or so. Make sure everything is moving nicely. And it's going to be a number seven, H7. Don't tighten that one up yet. Make sure the boat catch first. Don't be reaming on it. See, that's tight. I mean, you could uh, find the torque. I don't know what the time, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what the torque specs are, but trust me. Dealers don't use them either. For stuff for valve, anything in the engine, they usually do wheel stuff, but stuff like this, they never really do. That's tight. And that's on. Now we gotta put the spring clip on. So, there you go. Really nice. That one's done. 
still have to do the brake climb but that's a whole other thing to do and then we're gonna move on to the back all right now it's time to do the back so it's pretty much the same as the front so we got our bracket put it on two bolts Tighten everything up nice. And the back is a number 16. The front was a number 18. The back's a number 16. Don't ask me why, but that's BMW for you. Okay, that's on. Good. Like I said, we weren't gonna change uh, nothing on the back, the pads or the rollers. So we're gonna put these back for now. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna replace those soon. We just didn't, we forgot to order them. So you know what? Plus they still have some meat left on them. So put the back on. I already go ahead and uh, put the boots and the slider pin in. So now, do that. And where is, oh, there it is. That's on, it moves. Now, this clip always gives me some trouble to put on. Well, that was easier. Wow, the last time it gave me a shitload of trouble. Well, there we go, that side's done. Okay, so that's the end of this one for installing the calipers. The next one we're gonna do is, we're gonna put on the brake lines and then we're gonna bleed the brakes and then the brakes will be done. And then guess what? There's another project on this motherfucking car. But you know what? That's why we love cars, because there's always something to do. So I'm just gonna get all this stuff ready, take a break, because I'm freaking tired. And uh, when we come back, we're gonna, not when we come back, the next one is gonna be on uh, installing these lines, and this fucking car comes with six brake lines. Would you believe it? Six. As if four wasn't enough. No, they, they have to go make it complicated and add, add another two. Those two I might have to put off for another while because my hands can't get up in there and sometimes you have to drop the subframe or get as one of my friend told me he made a special wrench to get up in there he cut one of his wrench and bend it so it can fit in there because I don't know who what hands they think is gonna go in there so those two might have to stay till later but I'll do the four regular ones for now so that's the end of this one and I'll see you on the next one